Oh gosh, that's actually quite heavy. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am filming the second part to making a shellac barn. If you haven't seen part one yet, then you're kind of in the wrong place. I'll leave a link down below and you can go and watch that and then come back here. Okay, I am extremely excited. Let's begin. Going to bring Titan, my biggest horse, with me. Right, let's go. Oh my gosh, that's heavy. Hello everybody, we are here outside, ready to cut some stall dividers. I've been meaning to do this video for so long now, I've had the footage since the summer, but things just kept coming up and I wasn't able to finish it. So a couple of days ago I was like, right, I am going to do this. So here we are, and I've just realised I haven't actually talked about what I'm doing in the video, so I'll stop talking about random stuff now. So what I'm doing is making these wooden dividers to split up the barn into different stalls. And I'm doing those out of wood because that makes them really strong and durable. And here's where I stopped to film this really cute bug that landed in the barn. So yes, pretty cool. Here I'm using the first bit of wood I cut out as a template for the rest of the stall dividers. It just makes it much easier so you don't have to re-measure every time. Then we went ahead and cut those out and I tried to get a really aesthetically pleasing shot <laughs> of the jigsaw cutting through the wood and I got covered in wood shavings, I'm not joking, I was sort of spitting them out. <laughs> and I think it was worth it for those kind of cool shots. Anyway, here I am tracing up the second stall divider because these ones were slightly smaller than the ones I cut earlier. Here is some more excellent sawing. And here's where I tried to do this really cool shot of all the stall dividers in the barn with the layout and me realising that the camera doesn't fit through the gap, which was interesting. But we have finally finished all the bits we need to do outside, so I headed on inside to start hot gluing. Just firing up the old glue gun there. I'm not kidding, hot glue is a lifesaver. It sticks everything so strongly together. I've used it on all of the barns I've made. I think particularly because it works so well on wood and you wouldn't think that just glue could hold wood together like that, but it really does. So basically what I was doing before was holding the stool divider really firmly into place until the glue completely dried. Then I went around the edges of all of the stool dividers once I'd finished gluing them just to like give them that extra support. And I think that really makes them just stay in their place, definitely for longer, it makes them a lot more durable. Now I am getting out my new pack of lolly sticks. I was probably a bit too excited about this, to be honest. I just love lolly sticks. <laughs> So I'm using these to make the fronts to my stalls because they look so nice and natural, but they also work really well too. So once I'd made a row of how many I needed, I took one, glued all the way along it, and then sandwiched it on top of the others to join them together. Then I waited for it to dry, and because it's a long line of lolly sticks, I needed more than one to make it really secure. After gluing and waiting for them to dry, I went around the edges of the supporting ones just to really reinforce it. Here's some random rotating of the <laughs> front of the stool. I still don't know what that was about. <laughs> then with pliers, I tried to cut the bottom round bits off of the stool wall so it would sit flatly on the floor. But I struggled with pliers, so I just switched to scissors and it was so much easier. You just needed a really strong hand, which I didn't have when I first started. Then once I'd finished that, I took my trusty hot glue gun and glued two lolly sticks to the back of this stall wall to make it easy to attach. Then all you have to do is pop some glue on those two flat bits and you can just stick it to the wooden piece you put in earlier. And just like that, you have two horse stalls. Then I went ahead and did the two others off camera just because it was the same process so you didn't need to see it twice. Here I'm gluing lots of upright lolly sticks in between the stalls to make the partition taller. It was actually really nice and therapeutic, quite relaxing. Which is a good thing because it did take a long time so I'm going to skip ahead a bit to save you from all of that. And voila! All of the stalls are complete. Okay, now it is the second day and I'm going to work on the locks for the stools. So I'm going to be using these extra small brass eye hooks and I'm going to be attaching them to the front of each stool. Then I'm using my pliers to open up one of the hooks so I can attach a chain to it. Then I went ahead and hot glued the eye hook onto the stool. I didn't actually get that on video because it was quite a tense moment, I'm not going to lie. But it's all good, it's attached now. So I went ahead and banged in the second nail into the one wall and this process, I'm not kidding, is the most annoying thing out of the whole building of the barn. It's just so fiddly and annoying and it doesn't go in. So I was there suffering for quite a while but you've just got to persevere, it does go in eventually. <laughs> 
The next step is to attach the chain. I think this is like a small, extra small brass chain or something like that. I'm not too sure. So what you're going to want to do is find the end of the chain and just pop it into the hook that you opened up with the pliers. Then once you've measured out how much you actually need, just use your pliers to pull it off from the rest of the chain. And you can just repeat the same process for the remaining stools. Remembering to use your pliers to close the eye hook back up once you put the chain inside. And just like that, you have your horse stools. But I am not stopping there because this barn, unlike my others, has an upstairs floor so I'm going to need to build a staircase to get up to it. To build my staircase I just used my handy lolly sticks again, though this time I cut them in half so it was narrower. And to join them together I just used my hot glue gun again. And I started assembling the staircase bit by bit. As the staircase got bigger I made sure to reinforce it with smaller bits of lolly stick that stopped it from wobbling about and really held it together. I think every time I ended up increasing it by two lolly sticks so it was too deep and too up. For me this was the best size because it was steep enough to not take up the whole of the barn but it wasn't so narrow that a person's feet couldn't fit fully on the step. So I was really happy with that. Then off camera I just neatened it up a little bit so I trimmed down the side that was going to be up against the wall and I also glued long lolly sticks to the side that was going to be seen in the middle of the barn to give it that finished sophisticated look you know. <laughs> then I began to attach the grand staircase to the side of the barn using this long lolly stick that I glued to the top of the staircase to give it extra support. And finally once that had dried I went up the side of the wall with glue so it wouldn't move at all. Then I continued the staircase along by gluing lots of long lolly sticks to the top of the barn and then I had to build upwards again because there was a little gap so I made another miniature staircase to attach to those long lolly sticks and I used the exact same method I used for the other one so I'm going to skip ahead a little bit and bam a miniature staircase. <laughs> it's so cute and tiny <laughs> I love it. <laughs> anyway, here's where things started to get a little more complicated because I wanted the upstairs floor to still be removable though I somehow had to attach the staircase to it. So I attached this part of a lolly stick. Oh my gosh, I just dropped it there. Ignore that. <laughs> As I was saying, I attached this lolly stick underneath it to make a sort of support or kind of a beam that was going to rest on the upstairs floor. Because if I had just glued it to the wall, it would have been so much more brittle and snapped pretty much every time weight was put on it. So yeah, this is what I came up with. The lolly stick beam sort of slots into the support that's holding up the top floor. And only once that was properly secure did I then get out my hot glue and attach it to the rest of the staircase because we really didn't want that pinging apart. <laughs> and finally I went in and glued down the top part of the staircase to make sure it was lying nice and flat. And after waiting for it to dry thoroughly, bam, one staircase complete. Woo, woo. <laughs> okay everyone, this is as much as I'm doing for today's video. I really hope you've enjoyed watching and found it useful. Over the Christmas holidays now, I'm hoping I can make a start on part three. I really can't wait to finish this barn off. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye!